the CCHA is really, really muddled up right now with a lot of teams. They're uh, jock jockeying for that top spot. You get the split against St. Thomas over the weekend. Just how much of a dogfight is it really gonna, going to be for the conference this year? Yeah, it is. Right now, it definitely is. It's fun, though. Um, every game's competitive. Uh, points are going to be huge going through the second half. Um, every game matters. Pretty much a playoff game uh, in terms of thinking about that McNaughton Cup. So, um, yeah, I think games are important right now. It's fun when it's competitive. It's, uh, it's an opportunity for us to grow in different areas of our game because they're tight games. So uh, keep developing on that end of it and uh, just continue to get better. How much have you really learned about this team from week one uh, all the way to now? A lot. Um, I think we've had a lot of like we had a lot of new guys this year who have really found uh, found their way. So we've seen a lot of guys take um, big strides in the right direction. So it's been fun to watch uh, some of the younger players as well as some of the transfers uh, find their role and uh, start to develop into that and uh, uh, be big contributors to our team. You're coming off the torn ACL. It hasn't really hurt the production at all. You're leading the team uh, in goals this season. Just how have you been able to come back from such a devastating injury and continue to make a big impact for the Mavericks? Taking time away makes you miss it. So um, taking a little bit of time might have sparked something, um, just that, that passion and love for the game. So I think that plays into it. And then it just found a little bit of success last year shooting the puck. So I've just been trying to shoot as much as I can. And then I have great line mates who, who find me. So a lot of credit to them. Who's the biggest instigator or trash talker on this team? I'd say we got a couple of them. Uh, Connor Gregg is one that comes to mind. Uh, Luciano, he'll, he'll run his mouth a little bit. Um, I, think, I think the man that, that I'm looking for, if, if I'm running my mouth or doing anything like that, is Mason Wheeler to come, come and back me up. So uh, we definitely got a couple instigators who will hold their own, but uh, we've got some guys on the back end who don't do a whole lot of talking, but will back you up as well. And we talked with Coach Strand about this earlier, but when it comes to the holiday break, what is kind of your approach as a player? Do you like to get off the ice and kind of give your body some, some rest or do you like to continue skating? I, I know you kind of mentioned everybody's approach is a little bit different. Yeah, I think for me, I, I don't want to get my muscles out of shape. So I definitely want to take a break and let some of the minor little injuries heal and uh, give your legs some rest. But at the same time, for me, at least starting the season, when you get into skating every day and two a days and things like that, um, it's hard on your body. So I don't want to lose that progress that we've made over the past few months. So I'll probably hop on the ice a couple of times, but do most of the work off the ice. How big of a grind is the season once we hit January? It seems like it's a sprint for that that finish. It goes fast. Like I remember in previous years, we've had a lot of travel in the second half, and I think we've gotten most of our long trips out of the way, um, being Lake State and uh, a couple other long ones we've done. But um, it, it's nice to have those out of the way. So the second half really goes quick, and, and like we were talking about, every game matters. So um, – Looking forward to it. I don't see it as much of a grind. Like, I think it's an exciting time to play. I think once, once you're playing games where it's, it's do or die or um, you need these points to, to keep moving on, like, that's fun hockey. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks so much for yeah. joining me.